It has over 60 miles of private track, but the bit we're interested in is the main straight, which is a whopping five and a half miles long. Although it is technically a flat and level road, if you stand here, you can't actually see the other end. And that's because it's following the curvature of the Earth. But even when you've sorted the venue, you can't just jump in the car and go. This is Germany. There are procedures to go through. I like procedures. You have to insert a special key into a slot by the door. And when you do, the diffuser flaps close, the rear spoiler retracts, and the whole car hunkers down to become as slippery as possible. The telemetry box we're using to record the speed measures in kilometers an hour, so the magic number we're looking for is 407. Right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. I'm approaching the banking at the top of the circuit. I have to do this at 200 kilometers an hour. That's about 120. Around the banking, look for my acceleration point, then give it the beans down the straight. That's 120. Let's get the car settled. Fourth gear, 5,000 revs. I'm looking for the exit where I bury it. Here we go. The climb from 200 to 300 kilometers an hour was over in just 9.4 seconds. That's 230 miles per hour. I was now leaving F1 cars behind. It's no wonder Michael Schumacher retired. He's slower than me. These sort of speeds, this engine is sucking in as much air in a minute as I breathe in four days. Getting close to the maximum, which means the tyres will only last for about 50 minutes. But it's OK, because the fuel runs out in 12 minutes. This is a road car and I'm getting up to 404. 405, come on! Come on, give me one more! 406, come on, I need one more, one more! confident that's as fast as I'm ever going to go in a car. Incredible. That is, it's made my eyes water.